<laughs> Time for some pop news now and Lara Spencer. Hey, Lara. Hello, Amy. Good morning to you guys. We begin with the SAG Awards. I know we're going to get into all of the winners, their speeches, all that good stuff in just a moment. But we just wanted to take a moment to show you these backyard beauty shots. They are worth talking about. So many stars creating their own virtual red carpets at home. Nicole Kidman, for example, hanging out on her patio. Oh, and Giorgio Armani. And Kerry Washington poolside in a look by Etro, writing, so grateful to the SAG Awards for giving me a reason to dress up. And then this happened. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Doubling for a swimsuit. For this shot, Carrie writing, SAG Awards, going swimmingly. We all say, you look great. Amy Adams chose to pose among the trees in a gown by Celine. And Glenn Close used her front porch as her runway with her pup named Pip looking on lovingly. And on the men's side, Daniel Kaluuya wearing high fashion loungewear. How comfy and fabulous these Louis Vuitton pajamas and robe look. Hamilton's Leslie Od Odom Jr. was as proud as a peacock in this multicolor tie-dye suit by Berluti. I love that. We have so much more news coming up from the SAG Awards. Look forward also to talking about the Oscars and what it all means coming up in just a moment on GMA. Also this morning, Mariah Carey hitting a high note. The singer posting this video on Instagram getting her first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine and hitting one of her famous octaves without even trying. Take a look. There was a smile under that mask. Carrie captioning the video, writing, vaccine side effects, G6. That is a note only Carrie can do. Carrie also took the opportunity to encourage her followers to get the vaccine when they are able to. And she wasn't the only one celebrating the shot this weekend. Dolly Parton received her second dose of the vaccine. There she is. And she posted a picture to Instagram writing, Dolly gets a dose of her own medicine. And in parentheses, second. Last year, the queen of country made a million dollar donation for research into the Moderna vaccination. And now Tom Brady proving he really is the greatest of all time. Fresh off his killer Super Bowl win with the Buccaneers, Tom Brady's rookie card from 2000 is more valuable than ever. How valuable, you ask? Well, how about $2.5 million, making it the highest all-time price paid for a football card? It happened in a Leland's auction over the weekend online. The card signed by Brady beats the current record set by another Tom Brady rookie card. Hopefully Michael can get some of Tom's thoughts on the incredible price when he sits down with him today for an interview you can see right here on Wednesday morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.